morning church and welcome to our morning devotion here is a thought for this morning but let's pray before that father we just thank you and we praise you we worship you bless this portion today in jesus name we pray i was thinking about one verse today in hebrews chapter 13 verse 8 it says jesus christ is the same yesterday today and forever i like that thought today and the verse goes on, the Hebrew writer goes on to say in verse 9, Be not be carried away with diverse and strange doctrines, but be established in this truth that Jesus is the same yesterday, today and forever. It's so important as believers to be established in this amazing truth that we have a God who changes not. He is not like, a, like, a, like seasons that he changes or, or like situations or circumstances that change him. But he's the same God yesterday, today and forever. In James 1.17 says, Every good and perfect gift comes from the Father where is, there is no variation or who does not change. I like that, isn't it? Our gifts come, like salvation is a gift for a human race. And like God gives that gifts to us like a free gift. Like imagine like that salvation is a gift for a believer. That's why he cannot lose his salvation. It's not like God says, today you failed, so I'm going to take away your salvation. But it says every good and perfect gift comes from the Father who doesn't change. What he gives, he gives it forever. And what is the greatest joy? Because we are living in this world today and the people that we come across, they are a constant change. There's a constant change in the world that we live in. Like especially last six months has been a different for all of us, isn't it? Like, like a lot of changes, the way we do things, the way we go out. Earlier we used to carry our house keys to go out. Now we carry our masks to go out, make sure that we took our masks. Okay, so, so these are like a lot of changes, but we have a God in the midst of even in this pandemic, a God who changes not. I like that in Proverbs 24, 21, do not associate with those who are given to change, but be associated. I like that, like be established in Hebrews 3, 13, be established. By the way, some, some doctrines, some, some promises need to be established in our heart that we have a God who never changes. I was thinking about today, as I was meditating on these things, I was thinking about four different situations in the Bible. Number one, in Exodus chapter 3 verse 14, where Moses was in a desert for 40 years now, and at one day, all of a sudden, God appears to him in the burning bush. And Moses, as we, we say that Moses gives his first excuse, I cannot go, what would people say, and who I am? But God answers him and tells him, Tell them that I am that I am. In Hebrew, it means I will be what I will be. Before he says that, he says, I am the God of Abraham. I am the God of Isaac. I am the God of Jacob. God was saying, I am the God who was faithful to Abraham, who didn't change. I am the God who was faithful to Isaac, who didn't change. I was a God of faithful to Jacob. I will be the same God because I'm a God who changes not. And this gives Moses confidence to move forward. And that also gives us confidence as men and women of God in the work of God, knowing that we have a God who changes not. He is a God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And he goes before us and Moses delivers two million people. That's beautiful. The secondly, also in Matthew chapter 28, Jesus gives a great commission to the disciples in Matthew 28. He says, Lo, I am with you. The actual word is, as like I am with you, is I am. <clears throat> God is saying, like I am with you, is I am. The one who changes not is going to be with you. I like that, isn't it? What a joy when we go out on the streets to tell people. This week we were out witnessing. What a joy it was to talking to people. No matter people are in a lot of fear, but we have the gospel and we have a God who doesn't leave us and a God who changes not, who is going with us as we witness to people. And, and thirdly also in John 8, 48, Jesus said, Before Abraham was, I am. Now before Abraham was, I am. I like that, isn't it? Before the, like God was telling to these people, you know what? I am greater than Abraham. I was faithful. I was a God who changes not. He's the same God. In Malachi 3, 6 says, 
I am the Lord, do not change. Therefore, your sons of Jacob are not consumed. Imagine God. God is saying, like, I am a God who changes not. Otherwise, you will be consumed long back. Imagine for a moment if God decides to change. He decides to change on forgiveness. He says, now from this night tonight onwards, or this morning, 10 o'clock onwards, I've decided not to forgive you anymore. Imagine what would be our lives. The other thing God would say from right now at 10 a.m. in the morning, I'm going to stop, stop loving you unconditionally. Or he would say, henceforth I will not wipe away your sins like white as snow. But thank God, God doesn't do that with you and me. He's a God who never changes. No, thank God for that. Like, like Abraham changed. When God gave him a promise, he couldn't keep those promises. He, he just went ahead and produced his mind. But God comes to him in Genesis 17, 1, and he says, I am El Shaddai, walk before me and be perfect. Like, I like this God, a God who changes not. I, I'm, I'm amazed, isn't it? Because of a changeless, like an unchanging God, we could go every day in our life, like knowing that like no matter what we go through in our lives, the mistakes that we make, like, like the things that we go, we can always come to the cross and ask forgiveness and God forgives us. And what imagine the world that we live, it doesn't love people, love doesn't know what the real meaning of love, but we have a God who loves us unconditionally and his love never changes towards any believer, no matter where we are in our life. And he also remembers no sin in Habakkuk 1. He cannot look upon our sin. And that's amazing. Like imagine if God could look upon our sin, how guilty we would feel every day. But thank God, he is the same yesterday, today and forever. He is the same gracious God. He is still going to be gracious to you and me, no matter where we are. Like he is a gracious God. He is a loving God. And he is also a merciful God. Like his mercy endures forever and his love is everlasting. What an amazing God we have. And let's be established in this truth that our God is a God who changes not. He is the same yesterday, today and forever. Amen.